Let's now go to the Upper West region where officials of the Sisala East Municipal Assembly say hundreds of people have fled Burkina Faso and seeking refuge in Ghana. At least five people lost their lives, including a priest in April, following reported attacks on a Protestant church in Burkina Faso. Let's engage Karim Nanyua. He is the Sisala East Municipal Assembly Chief Executive. Thanks so much for joining us, sir. So, how many people have come to your district so far? Thank you, madam, for this opportunity. And let me also take the opportunity to thank your cherry listeners. Oh. Uh, so far, the exact numbers are not known because we are still doing the recovery, discovery. So um, because of that, I won't be able to, I will not be able to tell you the precise number. Oh. But uh, I know what we are doing by the close of the day after tomorrow, uh, we should be able to know the exact number. Now, the question is, how were they able to enter your jurisdiction illegally? Oh, how is, you know, the Sosala East Municipality shared uh, border with Burkina Faso. And uh, even sometimes we even share farm lands. Because uh, you go to Burkina, uh, the, our border, you see our farms and their farms. And then it's only the border that we should divide the farms. Mm. So for coming in, uh, we have a number of underproof rules. Somebody can move from Ghana to Burkina Faso, or somebody can move from Burkina Faso to Ghana. Mm. So they came through this number of underproof rules. Anyway. And what have they been telling your officials? Yes, uh, our confrontation with them uh, has shown that they've actually come to Ghana to do farming. Mm. That is uh, at the back of their mind. Because what they are saying is that uh, they are farmers in their home country, Burkina Faso, where they are coming from. But uh, where they used to do the farming, because of the terrorists and, and all that, uh, they don't have that peace of mind to settle there mm. and do the farming. So they are seeing Ghana as the next uh, uh, alternative country where they can come and they have the peace of mind to continue with their economic activity, which is farming. Okay, so but as uh, immigration officials aware of their presence, yes, uh, they are there. They, they, they went there yesterday and not as big, they are there profiling the people. All right, thank you very much for your time. And I've been speaking to the Sisala East Municipal Chief Executive Karim Nanu.